Keep watching to find out how I made my 2021 vision board using only Pinterest and Canva. Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. My name is Caitlin. So today we're doing a little bit of a lifestyle video. A couple years ago I said I'm not doing resolutions anymore. This year I wanted to do a vision board, but I don't know about y'all. The only magazine that I get in this house is real simple. I didn't want to go out and buy magazines just to cut the magazines up and put them on a poster board. So we're gonna do this electronically. So I actually completed my actual vision board but I feel like it's kind of like a birthday wish. Like I shouldn't show it to people and then it's not gonna happen. I don't know, let me know <laughs> down in the comments if you think that's crazy. I wanted to show you like a demo one and how I actually accomplished it. We're on Pinterest. So once you get to Pinterest, the way that I ended up doing it, I just decided to search. If I type in, let's say travel aesthetic, it came up with pretty pictures that I could use for my vision board. So like for instance, this one is cute. We also have this one, depending on where you wanted to go. For me, one of the places that I wanted to go this year for my birthday was Bali. So for instance, could type in Bali aesthetic and get pictures like this. And then all you have to do, let's say we pick this one, we just click on it. Here, let me make this a little bit smaller. We're just gonna grab it and drop it onto the desktop so it'll make it easier to find. So there's one. So let's say for instance, this year you wanted to cook more recipes. So let's do cook aesthetic. This is a cute one. This is a cute picture. Anything that you can look at and remind yourself that these are things that you want to accomplish this year. I'm actually gonna grab, oops, this one. And we'll add it to our desktop. One of the biggest things that I think is important is to add the year. <laughs> so this year is 2021. We're going to look for a picture that shows 2021. That one's cute. This one's simple and easy to, see miss 2021 2021 please don't suck that's funny 2021 loading this one's cute so basically that's the way that you should just go through and find pictures i mean if you didn't want to do it on pinterest i'm sure you could just do google image search as well another thing you could look for are like motivational quotes let's say use that one maybe you want a career one, career woman aesthetic. This is a cute one. This is cute. Quotes aesthetic. <laughs> Everything is aesthetic. I promise you'll get the prettiest looking pictures when you type aesthetic. When I made mine, like I didn't necessarily know which ones were gonna fit where. So it's just important that you have a lot. Plus I completely underestimated how much space there would be um, on my canvas for the poster. Let's say brunch, brunch, brunch aesthetic. <laughs> we're gonna add that because we definitely want a brunch in 2021. Again, these are just ideas. Whatever your vision for 2021 is, search for it and add the word aesthetic at the end. So now we're gonna go into Canva. Let me see, device. We are going to go to the desktop and we're gonna add them into upload all these images. 
So let's give it a second. So I just picked the poster size, um, the 18 by 24, and this is what pops up. They're still loading, it's taking a little bit of time, but once they actually get loaded, the way that I did it, I put certain things together. We have the travel, I put all the travel things together, all the cooking things together, and then went from there. Well, let's give it a second to actually load everything up. Okay, I think that they're all loaded now. So let's actually grab the 2021. You just click on the image and then place it onto your poster. So we'll add that. Let's just add that up here. And one of the things that you can do, like I said, I moved it in. Since there's all of this like white space, blank space, I'm actually going to crop it a little bit. There we go. And then we'll come back out. You see how that line pops up? That tells you that it's in the middle of the page. And then that's actually the margin. Okay, so let's start off with the travel ones because I see a lot of travel ones. Okay, we'll go zoom in to about 170. And then here is the fun part. Uh, hopefully it's fun for y'all. It was fun for me. I think my vision board ended up taking me about, maybe about two hours. Here is what I would do. But of course you can do whatever you want, which is the fun part about the vision board. And it's not permanent, like glue. You can play around with it until you get it how you like it. So let's just say we put this one like this. Bump that a tad bit. And then we'll zoom out. There we go. I like that. Let's just say we did this. And then if you had something like this one, or you wanted to add it in. And then when you zoom in, my whole thing was I didn't want to be able to see the poster. So again, right here, you can see the white space. So what I would do at this point is make this a little bit bigger drop it down so you can no longer see that white space. Let's try this one. So you see the words and you still see that it's about Seattle. So that's perfect. I keep saying perfect. It's not necessarily perfect because like I said, it took me two hours, which you think you would think placing pictures on a poster would not take two hours but it was only because I kept changing things around. It's one of the good, cool things about doing it electronically is that you can make this picture as big or as little as you want. You can do whatever you want with it. So we'll add that, let's add this one. The only button that I believe I used for most of this vision boarding was the position button. And once you start getting more and more pictures on the vision board, it starts getting a little hard to figure out which way it needs to go. Whether it's a, it's a backwards or a forwards, especially with all the overlapping. Hold on, I'll try to figure out a way to show you really quickly. This, okay, let me zoom in. So let's say that we have smile like this. And if you just wanted to bring it completely forward, you're gonna click here, click position, click to the front, and it just moves in front of everything. Let's say if we were on this one and we wanted the smile picture to go behind that top picture. If we click backward, see it's not necessarily gonna pick the picture that we want to go backward. So that kind of gets a little bit confusing. One of the things that I ended up doing for, especially for words like this, if there was something down here that I wanted to see, I just cropped it. So you would just go through and continue to do that and build it out until the whole board was covered. If that was your aesthetic, you could always leave a white border or make your 
border a different color this is completely customizable to you and then here is the best part about it so until I actually started doing it on Canva I thought that I was going to download the vision board as like a JPEG and send it off to like Staples to have it printed in the poster size. But one of the good things about Canva is that you can actually click right here where it says print posters, go through, you can tell what size that you want and it's $6. I chose the 12 by or 12 by 16. Originally I was actually going to do 18 by 24. I am constantly buying things randomly at stores and I actually already had a picture frame or a poster frame that was 12 by 16 from Michaels in the two pack. So I got the 12 by 16 because I knew that would fit. So that was $6. You just go through, it'll give you prompts about making sure that the border, like if there's anything on the side of the border that you is gonna get cut off. So you would see that this part is gonna get cut off because this is the borders. So you'd probably just crop it like that. Then on the next screen, you'll see that this part is not going to be printed either, the red part. So if there was something in there that you wanted, then you're gonna have to go and resize it and rearrange. For instance, if for this Bali picture, if I really wanted to be able to see the house, then maybe I'm rearranging this a little bit. The next part, it tells you whether there are issues with your image quality, saying that all of these have pretty low image quality and that you may want to think about replacing them. So if that was something that popped up for you, then I would go back to Pinterest and probably change it. So then let's just say that for and we're going forward, you can download a PDF proof. Once I finished or did a rough draft, I downloaded the picture, airdropped it to my phone, and so I had it in my photos. I could look at it, zoom in, and see if there were any issues that I saw or things that I wanted to fix. I would definitely recommend downloading the PDF proof so that you you can see what it looks like. Now I'm kind of second guessing mine because I didn't even think about changing the background color until now. <laughs> so if anyone does this and changes the background color, let me know. If you like how it looks, click continue and choose your shipping. I did mine last week, like I said, and I am still waiting, but I did get a notification that it is on its way. If you're like me and you didn't have any magazines and were thoroughly confused about how you might want to actually accomplish this vision board. Hopefully this video gave you some inspiration. At the end of the year, hopefully I will share what has manifested from the 2021 vision board. Let me know if you make a vision board this way or if you make one the original way, original way with poster board and cutting things out, which I think would be super fun. I just don't have magazines. <laughs> if someone has a solution for me doing a vision board physically, then let me know down in the comments below because I am supposed to be doing a virtual vision board party and I'm not sure how to do it without magazines. So let me know. I would very much appreciate it. All right, y'all. Well, thanks so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video. I will see y'all next week. We're doing a shopping try on haul from the vlog that I did at the end of December, which I'll show the week after that. <laughs> All right, y'all. I will see you next week. Bye. <laughs>